Hello. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do something quick and intro to the day. And we're gonna make some cornbread, like the recipe my mom gave me. So, let's get started, shall we? What you need is, well, I'm not allowed to use salt at the moment, or not minimum salt. So, I'm actually experimenting this time with some pepper. So, I got some pepper, and we're go gonna get some, uh, some corn flour. To there. All of the dry parts are going in now. Some cheese, bread cheese. I popped it for a non milk or a um, low fat option. Yeah, I know it's not, uh, it's not uh, the healthiest kind, but it's things you eat. Uh, I eat a loaf at a time and save the rest for the next day and the next day and the next day. So it is what it is. <coughs> so With all that said and done, <coughs> let's get to some. Uh, we need some baking powder and some some soda thing. So let's see what was the recipe for that again. What was it? And that's the next thing. Thing I am doing half a portion, so it's a bit easier for me to eat. Let's see. Something in Danish. I'll, I'll, I'll find it. It's called Nerton in Danish. Which just so about so. It's gonna go down in there. And then we have some baking powder. Then we're gonna need a tea, a tea and spoon as well. About half one in my case because I am making a smaller portion. Yeah, there's a bit of spillage, I'm sorry. So it's gonna be something like that. So that's all of the, most of the dry parts done. So, and let's just give it a big, uh, quick, uh, quick whirl here. Because all of the dry parts has to mingle with each other. With each other. Because we're still only making half a portion, like so. I do not know if you can use other milk types, but I think you can. I'm not sure, but I'll see. I'll tell you if I can find some alternative for this. You, so yeah. Order. I'm parched today. I've been parched all day, so I'm a bit, a bit on the thirsty side. So let's see the recipe again. Uh, okay, we need some. We need an egg as well and some, some butter. <coughs> so let's let's get the egg ready. One 
It's about one and a half. I'm going to give it a bit more because it was shaking probably, so like that. No more than that. Give it a good stir. I think we're going to need a smaller. sits here I'm just gonna get the quick stir once more be sure that a little bit. Oh, forgot something. Forgot the most important thing. Yeah, I'm a bit, uh, I'm still a bit under the weather. So, because we need to give it a wee bit, just a little bit, little bit of, of, so, and we can, uh, and my fingers just been washed, so, just to ensure that it doesn't cling around. I know. I still know it's not healthy. People won't show me about it, but when you don't need to eat as much of it, then it should be good. So like that. I don't know how much it can rise actually. And in the meantime, I'll just do this just to show you. Like there. And I will now shut off the camera and be back with you in about 45 minutes. So 
So 45 minutes at 200 degrees. So let's see how it goes with uh, this uh, bit too small vessel. I hope it'll work. I'm not sure it's the first time I'm trying it this small of a portion or this small of a uh, tray. So here's for hoping it doesn't cook over. So it's out of the oven now. Let's take a look at it. Doesn't it look scrumptious? <coughs> Actually, it looks a bit like a boob. <laughs> Got a bit of a swell in the middle. So let's let's try and see if we can uh, we can cut it up. It's a bit it has a bit of crust now. I don't know why, but oh, would you look at that? See if we can get it up on a plate, shall we? So, got about thirty five minutes in the oven. <coughs> it is going to be a bit, uh, bit messy to get up here, but anyways. time says about 35 to 45 minutes let me just see in the middle if it's yes it is let's just cut it a bit more you can just hear it talk in that little piece here actually talking to me it says oh how nice of you to bake me how nice of you to make me that. You want to eat me now? Yep. Just gonna look if it's if it's baked through. Mm -hmm. So, mm. let's have a taste, shall we? Delicious. Delicious. I'm gonna take a little loaf more here. Like that. So with that said, I'm gonna have me this and my Yeah, let me show it to you as well. <clears throat> I'm gonna have me a batch of my lovely jubbly. Scrumptious and easy to make and fat to make tomato soup. So that's going to be another recipe for another time. <coughs> so with all of that said. Done. Dusted. I'll say bon appetit. And as I said, I did earlier. Recipe for this will be in the will be in the uh, the description. Actually, it can it could be a bit more so a bit more stuck together but mm, it's it's not that hard but it's, it's okay it's a thing to eat by the side for this so yeah I'm gonna stop this over here <coughs> and then I'm gonna have my dinner so stay positive stay safe stay healthy and hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. So, bye-bye.